Why am I driving? Why is the Subaru all loaded up? I've got a sweet mountain bike that gets me out on the trail, but I've gotten into trouble with it out there. Oh. Ah. So I'm on a mission to document trails for adaptive riders. On a trip right now obviously and I'm going to tell you where I'm going and what I'm doing it's very exciting but first I want to share with you kind of um, what I've been going through recently you've probably noticed that uh, my video uh, posting has kind of slowed down and there's a really good reason for that so basically what happened uh, was I had a major change in my life and I was sad, um, very sad. And uh, I struggle with, you know, a little bit of depression anyways, once in a while. I go through phases like anybody, but it seems like in the past four or five years, those undulations in my motivation have gotten bigger. Um, I'm not sure exactly why um, I'm going to be going to therapy to work on that stuff but um, I got pretty sad um, uh, mostly because this major life change I don't want to get into what that was um, but I was having I've been having trouble motivating um, I did go to mammoth uh, a couple times actually <laughs> Did you hear that beep that was the car telling me that I was uh, going out of my lane <laughs> I was able to make a handful of uh, mammoth videos and a sky park video which I released a couple weeks ago um, if you haven't seen those videos they're some of the best videos I've I've made um, mostly just because I've gotten better at this over the past couple years but also um, especially with uh, the second mammoth video it's called uh, soloable double blacks double black trails that adaptive riders can do solo at mammoth mountain that video i think is my best video i ever made mostly because of different camera angles i had a follow cam um, so i've got different cameras that i'm switching between and the video turned out really well I learned a lot with that. That's also a part, a part of what's happening, which I'll share with at the end of this video. Uh, but if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. I've got a link in the caption. Oh, I gotta stay in my lane. Um, you know what, I'm gonna look at the road and you can look at me. I'm gonna not look at you. <laughs> um, here's a link to the video up here, up here check it out oh my god out of my lane again <laughs> check out that video right now and uh, come back to this if you want or just go over there and um, put it in your watch list to watch later so I made those videos and then I got super busy I've been working with my friend Chris or he is uh, at MTB Chris O um, you may remember him from some past videos. He and I have been working together doing trail consulting for bike park builds and trail projects. We got contracted for an urban bike park job in Portland. And I got crazy busy with everything that's involved in that. Um, and so I wasn't posting any content or making any videos because um, it was all about the job for a while there. I'm gonna write a blog about the job. Um, it was really cool, but it's mostly gonna be about my emotional experience. It was really interesting. Well, one, working with all the guys was great. The actual job was cool. Chris, obviously, is my boy. I love working with him. He's awesome. He's just wealth of knowledge and a good guy but the main thing the blog is going to be about that I want to share with you about this job 
is that usually when it comes to manual labor, I'm relegated to hang it out on the sideline, pick up my nose while everybody else works. But Chris had the wherewithal to know that it would be a good thing and the patience to go through it to teach me how to drive the skid steer on the road. I'm not on the road, I'm on the road now, on the job. Uh, and uh, it was a big deal um, because I could contribute to the job and work my ass off and get dirty just like all the other guys. I'll put a link into my caption to my blog so that you can subscribe to it so that when it does come out, you can read it. Uh, I also read my blogs in a podcast. I do audio for these videos in a podcast and also read my blogs. There's a link in the caption for what I call my blogcast as well. Um, and it's available on all podcast services, Apple, Spotify, everything. When I got back from that job, actually on the job, right when we wrapped, I got super sick. I got an unexplained uh, infection in my foot and I basically hightailed it home and checked into the ER straight away. Uh, well, I did come home do a little laundry, take a shower, pack an overnight bag, and then checked into the ER that night. I was in a hospital for five days. It's unexplained. We didn't get a swab of anything, so we don't know what it was. It was MRSA or staph or something, but my leg blew up. I was crazy sick. And then the recovery from that, I was just, I was sleeping. Some nights I, some nights and days, I slept like 18 hours. I was so exhausted. And then, as I started to get more and more energy uh, and starting to eat again, um, I was able to exercise a little bit. And then it was playing catch up on, um, on all my emails and correspondence. Uh, that's when I was able to put out the Sky Park video, which turned out pretty good link up here if you haven't seen it yet check it out come right back here though and then i'm playing catch up and i had no time to record anything new and record a check-in video so that's why i'm doing it now on this trip which gets me to what i'm doing why am i driving why is the subaru all loaded up. The goal is that I'm eventually getting to Bentonville, Arkansas. The city of Bentonville, the Chamber of Commerce, is covering some of my expenses to come there and make videos. Pretty fun. So I'm doing that and I'm stopping at a few places on my way out and on my way back. Today, I'm headed to St. George, Utah. I'm going to be visiting Fastco, Fast Company, and uh, my good friend Chris Tidwell, the owner. Uh, you may remember him from my St. George video where we rode Bear Claw Poppy together last year. I'm here with Chris Tidwell. He is the owner of Fast Company. We actually met online. Oh, yeah. social media connection here super nice guy we are installing one of his handlebars they make moto and now mountain bike handlebars with dampening in them we've been in business since 1998 making motorcycle handlebars and we just adapted our technology to a mountain bike platform check these handlebars out they're pretty sweet a polyurethane elastomer and a pivot point help to absorb vibration, impact, and chatter. You don't notice the bar is moving, you just notice that your hands and upper body aren't as fatigued. That would be a big deal for me. They machined a custom stem so that their handlebar can fit my bike. And today I'm pulling straight into the warehouse. We're gonna be installing that together. And then 
from there, I'll be going to my campsite and we're gonna ride in the morning. I do wanna say that as part of this trip, I'm using and going to do review videos on some new gear. Right now, I'm recording on my brand new GoPro Hero 9 with all the media mods. So I've got a shotgun mic, a light, a selfie screen. I'm curious to hear what this sound is like with the shotgun mic. Also, I got a Mavic Mini drone, which I have not used once. I did not have time either to play around with that. Last night, I unboxed it. I charged up the batteries. I'm gonna be playing with that. I have a Thule hideaway awning, which they gave me. I'm excited to show you that and my whole setup in here. Also, the handlebar that I'm gonna be installing with Vasco tonight. From St. George, I'm heading to Moab, riding with my friends Jen and Chad there, locals, really good people. You might remember them from my videos from Moab last year. I'm camping at Dead Horse. We're gonna be riding out of there, trying to find some stuff that adaptive riders can do solo because Moab is awesome, but it's tough. From Moab, I'm heading to Fruta in Grand Junction. I'm gonna be riding with Daniel Solar, the Danimal. If you watch my videos, you'll definitely re remember him. Part of the reason of uh, stopping in Fruta is I'm actually considering setting up shop there. This is another thing uh, that I wanted to share with you uh, about what's happening uh, in my life. You may or may not know that I'm also the US dealer for the bike that I ride and for other bikes uh, made in Poland by a manufacturer called Sport On. I can't remember where I was. The camera actually overheated because of the sun coming in through my windshield. So lesson learned, um, I need to be filming. I can only film on the dash cam when the camera is in the shade. I don't remember where I was, but I think I was talking about setting up shop in Fruta and thinking about moving there seasonally um, and doing uh, bike demos and taking people out in, in Moab because um, it's a if someone's gonna fly out and travel to go ride somewhere San Diego is not the best place for that but somewhere like Moab and Fruta someone is most likely to go through extensive travel to go ride there from there I'm gonna go visit my mom I I don't know how that's gonna go. Um, she's 70 and uh, kind of has a compromised immune system. She's sick a lot. So it's gonna be weird visiting my mom and like keeping my distance from her, not hugging her. I haven't seen her in over a year. So I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Then on to Kansas City where I'm gonna visit uh, my potential van outfitter van do it um, is what they're called the reason why i'm going kansas city is because it's only like three hours or so from bentonville which is where i'm going and i'll end up there for four days i've got a campsite i'll give you more details about what i'm doing there when i make those videos and then on my way home i'm taking the south route i'm gonna have thanksgiving with my brother and his family in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Super excited. That's what this trip is. I'm gonna be covering my whole camp setup out of the car. It's gonna be cold. I'm nervous about that. Um, I have a heater, but that heater makes me nervous, especially in the car. I don't know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Worst comes to worst, I just get a hotel room and slap it on the credit card, whatever. As far as what's happening with me in the future, yes, uh, I'm looking at moving and setting up shop seasonally in Fruta or also Bentonville is in the cards. It's also on the list. Um, and I say seasonally because 
yes, I am getting a van. Um, and I'm going to live in Fruta or Bentonville, most likely Fruta because it's close to my mom, in the spring and fall doing, doing demos and tours. And in the winter, I'm going to in the from the van i'm gonna live in san diego not sure if i'm keeping my place there or not and arizona the past two winters i've discovered riding in arizona um, and it's epic it's epic uh, and then in the summers i'll be uh, in san diego and mammoth you know i love my mammoth um, living out of the van most for the most part um, still you know going to mountain bike events and stuff when we have events again that's the plan super exciting you know what i'm gonna stop and go pee then when i come back i'm gonna wrap up and share with you some more exciting news about what's happening okay pee time gopro stop recording I was gonna pee in a bottle, but oh, I'll just go inside, wear a mask. GoPro, stop recording. <sighs> oh, that actually works kind of good. I have my I don't normally have my seat like this. I have it all the way forward because I have my bed set up back there. Looks pretty cool. <sighs> Hand sanitizer. You know why I like this stuff? It smells like margaritas. Grapefruit and lemon hand spray, Trader Joe's. Okay, I think we're good. be wondering why I'm wearing this thing on my arm I whacked my elbow and it's I have I'm having um, bursitis is what it's called it's super tender and the compression sleeve really seems to help it trucks oh no there's an oversized truck up here going super slow uh, let's see okay he just got over oh my god this is scary oh shit 163 miles continue straight on yikes okay where were we okay exciting things that are happening in my life and with the channel. Now, what I've been struggling with is the videos have had two reasons. One is the trail information. The second reason is basically just motivating everybody, wheelchair or not, to get outdoors by sharing the adventure. I've been struggling with that and I'm going to be splitting the channel into two. I'm starting an organization. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it. It's gonna be like the National Adaptive Trails Coalition or International Adaptive Mountain Bike Association, something like that. 
the bike symbol from the unpavement is going to move over to that. That is the universal symbol for adaptive mountain bike, AMTB. That's going on signs and everything like that. That channel is going to be all the trail documentation and everything adaptive bike. This channel is going to become something way bigger. This channel is going to be all about the adventure. And I'm going to work really hard at capturing everything in between. Everything you don't see. Everything you don't realize about being an adaptive athlete. You know, I've been wanting to hire an editor. And when it comes to the trail information and things like that, if someone's not there, you know, it's gonna be really difficult for them to understand what trail we're on, exactly what's happening. When it comes to labeling the footage and outlining and explaining everything to an editor, I might as well just make the video myself. But now, without the burden of the trail information, I can film everything. The camping, the traveling, the struggle, the, the having beers with friends, the adventure as a whole, send that to an editor who can make something way better than I ever could as a novice editor. So I'm real excited. I am working on hiring camera guys. I've got a guy back in San Diego that's gonna follow me around with a camera once a week. And when I stop in different places, I've got camera guys lined up in each place to capture everything in between, not just the ride. It's an investment, it's, it's costing a lot of money, uh, and it's coming in, you know, out of my pocket, obviously, but I believe it's an investment. The quality of this channel is just gonna skyrocket. Um, if you wanna support, really, really appreciate it, really need it right now. Things are, are pretty tight, and I'm really extending myself with making this move and hiring camera people and an editor and with get, getting a van and moving. I've got a link down below uh, to become a Patreon. And uh, when you sign up, you know, it can be for $1, $3, $5 a month or whatever you choose. I'll send you discount codes and stuff like that. All the different levels I've explained. And I'm new at the Patreon thing. So if you have a suggestion or recommendation on how to format it, please let me know. Tell me what you want to see. Oh, I got to change lanes. This guy's going slow. I'm in Vegas right now. I'm driving past the new Raiders Stadium. Man, that thing is crazy looking. So I'm really excited about everything that's going to happen. Um, when I form that other channel, I'll make sure to let you know. Make sure you stay subscribed to this one. Uh, for your adventure fix, your motivation, and subscribe to the other channel for all your trail information. That's pretty much it. That's my check-in video. That's what's going on. Um, I don't feel sad anymore. Um, I'm getting better, climbing up that ladder. Uh, I'm not sick anymore. Uh, I feel pretty good. I'm, all, I'm up maybe about 90%. Uh, not fully there, but, but getting there. When I get home, I'm gonna have like two months of videos to make. I'm gonna have a ton of footage to get through. Make sure you're subscribed. And definitely, you know, hit that like button. Man, it's really, really important. Not only does it make me feel good, but it helps the algorithm. Also, let the videos, um, if, you're, if you're done with it, you wanna turn it off, at least just let it maybe play in the background or something, play through, um, because that does a few things. It helps my algorithm, and it also helps me gain watch time hours. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm still really small time. I mean, I'm about to bust in. I'm getting close to a 1,000 subscribers, which is not very much, but I appreciate every single one of you. We're growing just slower than I thought. Uh, but what I need to do is gain subscribers and watch time hours so I can break into the YouTube club and s start linking to things and have like a little merch counter underneath my videos and stuff like that. 
So anything you can do to help out, all those little things all add up. And I really appreciate you. Thanks for watching. The next episode, hit St. George. GoPro, stop recording.